right, guys. Silver Player 22, bring you another team of the season Silver Player review. Today, we're going to be looking at Yorick Reve, who is from Young Boys. He is obviously in the Revision League. Before we do that, let me know in the comments below which of these new team of the season Silvers do you guys want me to do? Now, uh, Mr. Hypes is going to be doing um, Team of the Season Helland. I'm going to probably put him into one of my silver plated hybrid squads quite soon, along with Jensen. But if you're interested in that player, definitely go and check out Mr. Hypes. He's an awesome guy. And yeah, uh, I've already uh, got my review sorted for that. Uh, I think he's Hungarian, possibly. The Nikolix from the Polish League. Uh, I've got Roddy Ager sorted, and I've got the Nigerian right mid. I can't remember his name, to be quite honest. But I've got all those sorted. If you want me to do other Team of the Season uh, Rest of the World reviews or Turkish League reviews, definitely let me know in the comments below, because I'm willing to kind of do any of the ones you guys want me to do. Anyway, Ray Ravet or Raver. Uh, has 90 pace, 80 dribbling, 78 shooting, 75 passing, 71 physical. He, I bought him for about 28k. He actually went up a little bit, and I actually sold him up for about 38. But then he's gone back down again, so I wouldn't worry too much. Mental and physical stats, obviously no aggression or interceptions, but really solid elsewhere. 87 reactions, decent sprint speed, decent stamina. That stamina is actually really high. Um, the sprint speed and the acceleration, good. Uh, crossing, good. Cr uh, dribbling, all his dribbling stats are decent. And his shot power and long shots are really quite high. High shot power, especially 89 shot power, is very high for a right midfielder. Um, I obviously I decided to play him at right forward. I did try him at right midfield for a little bit, but I, I felt like he was a little bit too offensive to play there. To be honest, um, I what did I think of this guy? Well, to be honest, I, I quite liked him. I, I'm I'm not going to say that he was perfect because he had a little a, a little few problems with him. Two star skill moves straight away. Why why has he only got two star skill moves? He can't. No one has two star two star skill moves. I probably got more than two star skill moves, but. It, that was really frustrating. And another thing was his three-star weak foot felt a lot lower. Every time I tried to put it onto his wrong foot, he, he seemed to mess up every time. And I don't know whether that was just unlucky, but it felt a bit off. Long shots, sometimes he was like, you know, he was like Perlo hitting them from distance. And sometimes he, he couldn't, you know, he couldn't get it anywhere near the goal, which is really disappointing. I also found his shot power wasn't as high as I'd maybe anticipated, to be honest. I, I thought... You know, I, I thought he was going to absolutely cannon them, where it was a little bit more about accuracy, to be honest, which was quite surprising. Decent finishing in the box, though. I wasn't really too disappointed with that. Very quick player. Good dribbling, to be honest. Really good, actually. I was quite surprised at how fluent he was, you know, at both running and dribbling at speed, as well as dribbling in and out of players, you know, whilst not running. But yeah, overall, quite good. Crossing, pretty decent, you know. I, I felt that I was never worried about if he put a cross in, if it was going to get to the player, because I always knew it would. Passing in general, though, wasn't as perfect as it could have been. Um, but, it, you know, nothing too horrific. But I just expected a little bit more from someone like this. But good dribbling never runs out of energy. That's a massive one. Obviously, we saw that 90 stamina, and that really isn't a lie. He really... I, I didn't notice him going down his stamina at all. I mean, after the... I think I played about eight games with this guy and the team I was playing with. Everyone else was almost completely out of energy. And he was still there on, like... 86 energy or something like that, which is incredible. Uh, very quick, good crossing, decent shooting, um, and obviously I've talked about the negatives. Now, for the verdict, I've said that he feels like a 76 to a 79, probably a little bit higher than his rating, but nothing, you know, world's beating. Fair price would be 20 to 35k, because as, as I said, he's it'd be a nice addition to the team, but I can't I can't wholeheartedly go out to tell you to go out and rush and buy this guy straight away. If you've bought him and you have luck with him, that's great, but I, I, don't, I think he was good, but he wasn't absolutely perfect. I've given him an 8.4 out of 10 because he did offer a lot, but just not maybe as much as I expected with those card stats. Anyway, guys, for end chat today, obviously Mourinho has just gone to Man United and probably regarded as one of the best managers in the world, even though he had a little bit of a poor stint at Chelsea. I'd love to know who is the best manager in world football right now. Let me know in the comments below. Is it Mourinho? Is it Guardiola? Is it, you know, Simeone? Simeone's possibly one for me because I think he's done phenomenal with that Atletico Madrid side. Anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. And as I said before, let me know which team of the season silvers you want me to do and which informs you want me to do as well. Cheers, guys.